And I'm very fortunate to this day that my father and I developed a very, very close relationship uh, before, the, before he died, many, many years before he died. And I learned that my father was an imperfect man and that I could love him and revere him and know that he made a lot of stupid decisions. But I hated what he did. What do you think I did the first two times I was married? Hmm. Repeated that pattern. Cheated on my wives. Yeah. I hated that behavior. I despised it. It broke, it broke my will at points, and yet I did the exact same thing. That's the, that's the power of what we call a limiting belief, right? Junk in the trunk. That even though we don't like it. So I want to just say this to you. That even though you probably, definitely, I think we can say, don't approve of how your dad approached business and finances. You've got to be so careful because I'm telling you, Ben, that is hardwired in there. And you're going to have to fight like the space shuttle fights gravity to get that ship going because it's hardwired in there even though you didn't like it. It's so easy to repeat those same mistakes. And so you've got to believe at the core of your core that it's possible for you to be on that boat sailing around the world. Not just talk about it like, oh, it's a great thing to talk about. Like, you have to believe that his scarcity, his poverty, his struggle is not yours.